Hey fifth grade, today we are going to be talking about customary units of measurement um, and hopefully these are all things that you've at least heard of before and maybe some of you are familiar with some of the conversions. Um, there are four different types of customary measurements. There's length, width, liquid volume, or capacity, and time. So those are the four different types that we're going to be talking about. Um, maybe you've heard of feet, inches, yards, miles, pounds, ounces, um, tons, cups, pints, gallons, quarts, different things like that. Hopefully you guys have heard about um, things like that before. Today we're just going to review those and begin to learn a little bit more about them and making those conversions. So the first place that we're going to start is up at the top with length. We have one foot equals 12 inches. One yard equals three feet, and I'm going to add one more to that. There is in one mile, there's 5,280 feet. So I'm going to add that one in there as well. That will be one that you need to know. Um, there's also one mile, there's 1,760 yards in a mile. So that's also something that you'll need to know. Add that one in there. Uh, one mile equals 1,760 yards. So then we have weight. We have one pound is equals 16 ounces and one ton equals 2,000 pounds. And a ton is kind of what we think about with an elephant. Okay, Things that are very, very heavy is going to be an elephant. An ounce is something very, very small, a paper clip, something like that. That's going to weigh an ounce. And then a pound, um, you can ask your parents how much you weighed at birth. Um, I weighed seven pounds and six ounces when I was born, so humans would weigh pounds, you know, things like that. So then we have liquid volume down here. And maybe you guys have heard of like the gallon land or gallon man. Um, I think some of you guys did that before. I'll draw it on the whiteboard underneath this. We have one cup is eight fluid ounces, and notice eight fluid ounces is different than eight ounces in weight, okay? This is fluid ounces, so this is with liquid. We have one pint equals two cups, one quart equals two pints, and one gallon equals four cups, or four quarts, I'm sorry. So then we have time, one minute equals 60 seconds, one hour equals 60 minutes, one day equals 24 hours, and one week equals seven days. So down at the bottom, you'll see the three steps in order, what you need to do in order to convert units of measurement. Step one to be, would be to identify the unit of measurement. Step two is identify whether it's big or small. When we go from a big unit to a small unit, you're going to multiply. And when we go from a small unit to a big unit, you're going to divide. So I typically use my hand signals in order to demonstrate those. We have big to small divide, small to big, that creates a division sign, so we're dividing. And then step three is whether you're going to identify a multiplication or a division, which operation we need to do. And I have an example over here, but we're going to look at a couple different examples on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that one down. And First thing I want to look at is gallon land, because I think this is going to rejog some of your memories. I have my big G here, and inside of my big G, I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger. Inside of my big G, I have four queens, which would be four quarts. Inside of each of my four quarts, I'm going to have two princes or princesses, whichever one, but that stands for the two pints, which equal the two quarts, or one quart, I'm sorry. So there's my two peas. And then inside of each of my peas, I'm going to have two C's for cups. So two cups equals one pint. So there's my two C's. And then in between each of those C's, I'm going to put a little eight. And that means that eight fluid ounces are inside of each cup. All right, 
So there is my gallon man or gallon land, however you want to describe it. I'm going to move this just a little bit closer. So if we look, I could ask you guys several different questions from here. Two quarts equals how many pints? Okay, so two quarts equals how many pints? Well, I'm going to find two quarts right here. And then I can look in that and I can see that there are one, two, three, four P's. So two quarts are going to equal four pints. All right. So now if I were to ask you, uh, let's see, three cups equals blank fluid ounces. So how many fluid ounces would there be in three cups? Well, I can go and look. One, two, three cups, and there's eight, eight, eight. So I know that eight times three is 24, so there would be 24 fluid ounces in three cups. Okay? Let's think of a, one more question to ask. Um, two gallons equal blank quarts. So how many quarts would be in two gallons? If I looked, I have one, two, three, four quarts in one gallon. So I'm going from big to small, so I'm going to multiply. There are two gallons, four quarts in each, four times two. So this answer right here is going to be eight quarts. All right, so let's look a little bit at length. I know that there are 12 inches in one foot. So how many inches would there be in four feet? How many inches would I have? So if I know there are 12 inches in one foot, I need inches to feet, so I would have to multiply 12 times 4, which I know would be 48. So then there's going to be 48 inches in 4 feet, okay? Um, if I know that there are 2 yards, how many feet would that be? So I know that there are in one yard, there's three feet. So if there's three feet in one yard, how many feet are there going to be in two yards? Well, I'd have to do two times three, so that would give me six feet. Okay? If I know that there's one yard in a foot, what if I have nine feet? And I want to figure out how many yards that is. Well, instead of multiplying this time, I would have to do the opposite. Because I'm going from small to big. So small to big means I have to divide. I would have to divide 9 by 3. And I know that 9 divided by 3 is 3. So that would be 3 yards. Okay? I could also figure out how many yards are in a foot. So if I know that there are 12 inches in one foot and there are 3 feet in a yard, then I could multiply 3 times 12 and I would get 36. So in one yard, there's going to be 36 inches. Okay. Now, we'll look at one more for weight. If I know that 2,000 pounds equals one ton, and I have an elephant that weighs three tons, how many pounds is that elephant going to weigh? What am I going to have to do? So I'm going to have to multiply 2,000 times 3. And I know that 2,000 times 3 is 6,000. 
So that elephant would weigh 6,000 pounds. Right? Um, if I had a cup, or if I had a, a weight that weighed 32 ounces, how many pounds is that? And I know that 16 ounces equals 1 pound. So I have 32 ounces. I need to figure out how many pounds that is. So this time I'm going to have to divide. 32 divided by 16. And I know that 32, that 16 can go into 32 two times. So 32 ounces would be 2 pounds. Okay. The only other section that we have is time. And those are things like minutes, seconds, hours, things like that. So if I have one minute equals 60 seconds, three minutes would equal how many seconds? So what would I have to do here? I would have to do 60 times three, good. And I know that six times three is 18, I'd add that zero, so that'd be 180 seconds. And you guys can figure out things like, how many, if there's 24 hours in one day? Well, one day equals 24 hours. In two days, how many hours would that be? So what would I have to do there? I'd have to do 24 times 2. So I know that 24 times 2 is 48. So two days, you have 48 hours, different things like that. So again, this is just an introduction. You guys can keep these keep these notes to go back on, hopefully, that you've taken. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your teacher either after they're live or during office hours.